Hey everyone. I noticed when I was planning my videos for this month and I was thinking about game updates that I made like zero Game Boy videos. So I wanted to take this video to show you guys my entire Game Boy collection. Now in this I will only have my original Game Boy and um, Game Boy Color games. And there will be no order in this, it's gonna be mishmash, you know, boxes, um, zero boxes, booklets, you know, everything will be like um, in disarray. Now I'm gonna start with the boxed games, because I only want to show one footage, one game's footage of that, which is one of my favorite Game Boy games, which is Final Fantasy Legend 3. And I got it, got it okay, like that. And uh, you got this is known, I think, maybe in America or just in Japan as um romancing. It's part of the romancing saga series, I think. And I love this game so much. It revolves around building a ship uh, that can travel to time and space, and you have to travel travel through these dimensions and get a crew together and. It just, it's such an amazing game. This game really took me on an incredible adventure and I love this game so much. The music, the combat system, the story, there's just so much in this game. I absolutely love it. Then we go to Harvest Moon on the Game Boy Color. I love that cover, it's such a beautiful cover. I haven't, this one is my fiance's, I haven't played this myself that much yet. I have like the screenshots. Then we have the three Pokemon games. Well, we have more, but these are just Game Boy, Game Boy Color. We have Crystal, Gold. Uh, Crystal is my fiance. Gold is mine. It's my favorite Pokemon game. This one. And my original one that started everything for me, uh, Pokemon Blue. My neighbor, a very good friend of mine, still to this day, um, he is the one who took red, and I took blue, and we exchanged everything, and we battled, and had such a great time with that game. Very cool. Then we'll go to the only two that I have loose, but that have a booklet with them. We'll start with... Let me open this thing up a bit because else you won't really see it that well. R type, which is obviously very hard and very cool. It, it, it does work well on the Game Boy, I have to say. And that obviously comes with a booklet. Let's see some stuff in there. I bought. R type together with this Tetris. I don't need to show you guys what Tetris looks like. Uh, that come with the booklet as well. And a few other games. Do I have them here stacked? I saw those two Tetris and R type together with the Lawnmower Man. I think. And. Top left eye 3 and a few other games at a flea market and the dude was selling for like one buck a piece so when he said that and I saw all this game I like grabbed all the games very fast because you know the booklets are in perfect condition and there's some pretty cool games in there Lawnmower Man is some kind of it's from a very cool movie I used to love the movie it's a very weird game it's kind of weird platformery mishmash kind of thingy and Job Left are, is very reminiscent of Desert Strike and stuff like that. My cased ones that are still remaining, we have here DuckTales. Everybody knows DuckTales, it's, very, it's a very good port. It really um, looks a lot like its NES counterpart. They really did a very good job on that. The music and the enemies and the graphics, it, it's a very good game book. Yeah, I can highly recommend that. And we have here Kirby's Dreamland 2, which is in the wrong way for some reason. Like this, like this. Okay, there you go. 
Uh, I really like the fact you can ride on the hamsters and stuff, and I really hope they one day bring shit like that back again. And yeah, maybe they did, because I never played the one on the Wii yet. And we have here in a very crappy broken box, the Empire Strikes Back. Then we will continue with some black games that I have. The Rugrats. I fucking hate the Rugrats. But it was at a flea market where I bought Mario and they just gave me that game for free with it. So I took it because I don't turn on free shit. And we have the Game & Watch Gallery 3. I really, really like this. But I feel that the Game & Watch Galleries aren't really for like new players these days. Because people like me, you know, we grew, we grew up with the Game & Watches. You know, we took those with us before you had like SPs and DSs and all that shit. So I think people these days won't... It's more for the retro collectors among us who used to play these in the past. And the remakes of the games plus the originals. It's very cool, but it's not for everybody. And we have here GTA... And I'm sad that they no longer make GTA the way they used to, you know, with the top-down view. I really, really like the top-down view stuff, and it's kind of sad that they don't do that anymore. It's just, everything has to be so super realistic now, and the old-school ones from Dublin. And they had something new, fresh, and original, and it's sad that they don't do that anymore. Then we'll go to Blossom Master Jr., which... In America is called Blossom Master Boy, I think, which takes only the top-down element from the original NES game, well, original NES game, without the, the car stuff, it's just the shooter, but it's interesting, but you can grow sick of it pretty fast, but it's very cool. Then we have... The only two clear games we have is um, Rayman Forever and Mario Tennis. And I'm kinda sad they don't make Mario Tennis like this anymore because it's a very cool concept where it's like this whole RPG thingy and you live on this campus and you walk around and there's different areas you can go to and you train yourself and Mario is like this champion of the university or something like that. It's very, very cool. And these days it's just about the matches. And this was a very cool concept. I really liked that. Then we have here, I think it's probably one of my more rare games. It's uh, Gargoyles. It's like um, Ghouls and Ghosts spinoff. Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins. One of those. It, it, it's a very cool platform with some very nice RPG elements mixed in it. It can be a bit hard to control sometimes, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I gotta speed this up a little bit, I think. But most of these games I don't have too much to say about. Here we have McDonald's Land. It's an okay platformer. Then we have Popeye 2, and I really, really like it. It's a very cool platformer. You can eat spinach, and because it's not like the arcade game, you know, it's more like a platformer, and you beat people up, and <laughs> your fist is overly huge, it's kind of funny. And the more spinach you eat, you know, the bigger your arm becomes, and I think at a certain upgrade, you like you start throwing spinach and shit. It is very fun, I highly recommend that game, it's very cool. And we have uh, Mickey's Dangerous Chase here. Which looks really nice, you can select between Mini and Mickey, it's it's kind of a nice thing, that makes me think of something, where is that? that in McDonald's land, they actually allowed you to select between uh, a white boy and a black boy, and I thought that was kind of funny that they did that, so I think it's one of the first games ever where they allowed it, even now they don't really give you a choice, usually you know, like, yeah, you can be uh, a boy or a girl. But here you could actually be a white kid or a black kid. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, Super Mario. Not much to say about it. Uh, Super Mario 2 or 3, where you land? Yeah, 3. I really, really like this game. I'm having a lot of fun with that game lately. Then we have here... Um, one of my favorite 
video game series uh, Wizards and Warriors. This is um, Dar Fortress of Fear. And you know, when people used to have Dungeons and Dragons in the past, and others had Lord of the Rings, they read Lord of the Rings. So now, me, my knights, and my magic, and my adventures came from Wizards and Warriors on the NES. And it's nothing like that. It has the same kind of vibe, but this game has such annoying uh, jump controls. But it has very good music and it looks kind of good and it has a nice atmosphere, but it's obviously not the same as the NES. They did a, did a nice job getting that same atmosphere done. Then we have Street Racer, which is very cool on the Super Nintendo. It doesn't work very well on the Game Boy. Boulder Dash, which is one of my favorite puzzle games. Then we have um, Escape from Camp Deadly here, which is it's an okay Simpsons game. Personally, I really prefer the NES one. It gets a lot of hate the one on the NES, but I really, really like it. Then we have something very cool. Um, one of my favorite Game Boy games as well is Roland's Curse, which is like an RPG a la Zelda 1, the top-down view, and you... They just throw you in the world. They throw you in the world and you know you're on your own. Um, you have NPCs to talk to, villages to visit, dungeons to crawl through, worlds to explore, you know. The more weapons you get, the further you can explore. It's a very, very cool game. I really like it. Then well obviously Zelda, Link's Awakening. Fall of the Foot Clan, which I really really like, it's one of my favorite Dolo games, next to the original one on the NES, the first one. I'm not a big fan of the arcade ones somehow for the NES, it just, and it just doesn't translate as well as Double Dragon for example on the NES did. I prefer the first Dolos, and this is a very nice platformer, beating up kind of feeling, it's very good, it's very nice, I like it. And here we have Spiru, which is... People and Fantasio. I don't even know how you guys call this because it's like a French thingy, so I don't know how you guys call it, but it's it's not a good game. I wouldn't recommend it anyway. And here we have Godzilla. Then we move on to... Jurassic Park. I really like Jurassic Park. It's just a... It's, <laughs> it's a bad kind of walk around, shoot dinosaurs thingies, but I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun, and I would recommend this to you. Then we have Stargate, which is a very, 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 very crappy game, and I bought this, and I was like, oh cool, it's Stargate. I wasn't a bit Stargate trip back then, and I played it, and it's some kind of crappy puzzle game. I don't know. Then we have some more puzzle games here. We have Qbert. I don't need to explain Q-Bird. Bubble Ghost. It's a very, very fun puzzle where you're a ghost and um, you go through these mazes and, mazes and you blow a bubble around and you have to avoid hazards like fire and needles. It's pretty cool. Pipe Dream. Well, you just have to connect pipes to flow water to, from one point to another. Then we have here Battle Toads. Not a lot to say. It's a very very nice port once again. They did a very good job on this It looks very nice and it just feels the exact same way as the other Battletoads games on the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. Just very nice Hyper Load Runner uh, It's also a puzzle game and it's kind of confusing to me this one. I like the one on the It just, and it just doesn't work well on the Game Boy. I think that then we have Mega Man 3, one of my most recent purchases. And it looks very good graphically, it's very cool. And the music sounds amazing, but it's like the screen is so much smaller. Yet your character isn't compared to the NES game, so you have less time to react to stuff, which makes this a lot harder than the NES game. Then we have. Balloon Kid 
which I don't really need to explain because it's it's like back from the past that one. We have Kirby's Dreamland, another one that doesn't need explaining. Um, another one of my favorites is Probotacti, which basically is contra for you guys because due to I said look due to German censorship stuff, you know, the contra they removed all the humans because the Germans then find it appropriate to shoot humans apparently and they replaced the, everything with robots. Very cool. It, it actually works pretty nicely that. Then we have um, Rescue of Blobat, uh, of Princess Blobat from a boy on his blog. Which is nicer to play than the NES game. I don't like the NES game that much. It's too linear. And we have Killer Instinct. Which actually works pretty nicely. They had to cut some characters like um, Reptar and I think Saber Wolf isn't in it. And they removed some moves and that is very stripped down, but it still works very nicely. Then the final few games is still some boxed ones. I thought I was going to do those with the other ones in the beginning, but I must have skipped that somewhere. Okay, so a few of that. We have here Kit Icarus. These are all like complete unbox, which I did a whole review on. I'll post a link somewhere. I'll see. We have Alleyway. Um, ten ten and Tibet, which kind of sucks. It blows. Uh, the Super Nintendo game looks very cool. It looks like the comic, and you have the gimmick where you can run towards the screen and back. This one doesn't have that little gimmick thingy, so it's just the horrible game with without that. Then we have here Solomon's Club, another puzzle game, and that's what I was talking about earlier with Hyper Load Runner. It's the same kind of puzzle game. Except the Solomon's Club is actually very, very good and it works and it looks nice on the Game Boy. But Load Runner, they just fucked it up somehow. It, I don't know, they did something wrong with that. And then we have two more Tasmania. Tasmanian Devil? No, Tasmania. With a free poster inside, and I think when I bought mine, it had the poster. I bought it on a flea market for like five bucks, I think. No, it doesn't. But it does have the booklet. And finally, Tiny Toons Adventures, Babs Big Break. So that's the end. I will see how I do it, because I think I went a bit messy with it, but you guys get the gist of it. I'm going to add more footage than I planned, I think, even though by now you have already seen that, because I wasn't planning to adding footage for GTA, but I think it kind of felt that I wanted to show you guys that. Like I said, I really like the top-down view stuff. So that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, it's once again a bit longer video, but you know, not every video this month has to be some kind of crappy, unedited piece of shit. <laughs> so hope you guys liked it. And stay real.